Hello, my name is Corby Dickerson. I'm the Observing Program Leader and a Meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana. Today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk with you about the potential for a historic cold event this Thursday morning. In short, we're expecting the possibility for cold on historic proportions this Thursday. Temperatures quite possibly colder than anything we've seen in 40 years. The time for preparation is now and also to mention we should say there's going to be some heavy snow and dangerous wind chill readings preceding this historic cold but I'm not really going to talk much about that in this briefing. So what I'm going to talk about is where the cold air originated from and why is it so cold, where it is now and how it is potentially so historic, ultimately what we expect could happen on Thursday and then what you can do to prepare so where did this cold air come from and why is it so cold? That's a great question and we should start about a week ago out over central and eastern Siberia where temperatures were widespread minus 40, minus 50 and even some 60 below temperatures were observed. This was happening for several days as you can see from the 60 below station and uh, that air had just been getting colder and colder and just denser and more established out over the Siberian part of Russia. It was uh, quite, a, quite remarkable for this time, this early in December, to be seeing temperatures this consistently cold. So how did that cold air leave Siberia? Well, this big ridge of high pressure that you can see that built up between Alaska and Russia. Over the course of the last several days, this ridge has built and has forced cold air to come down the polar regions and into Alaska, the Yukon, Northwest Territories, and up into Northern British Columbia. And that's where it sits today. So all that cold air that had been pooling up for about two weeks in Siberia was kicked free and come down through Alaska and the Yukon. These are this morning's low temperatures at several locations throughout that region. Uh, you know, widespread 40 below to 50 below, pushing close to 60 below temperatures in some locations even saw 40 and 50 below temperatures down along the Rocky Mountain front and into the Fraser Plateau in the southern part of British Columbia. Really remarkable cooling has occurred over the last 24 hours as this Arctic air continues to be pulled down from the polar regions across Alaska and Canada and is headed towards us. So how is this potentially historic? Well, both December and all-time mean sea level pressure records may be broken. Uh, this is the way that the December records stack up. Now, these, these numbers are uh, two whole numbers and a decimal number. So we look at it as 1,054.5 millibars. That's the mean sea level pressure over Missoula for the December record. And that happened in you know, Christmas Eve, 1983, actually. So looking at the all-time record map, you can see that purple lines in the red I'll zoom in here and you can see those, you know, pushing to 1060 across a good part of Mizzou, or western Montana and in the eastern Montana with the record highest sea level pressure ever observed over Missoula of 1059.9 millibars. Also the record in Kalispell, the record up in Haver, the, all, the record for the lower 48 is actually in Helena of 1063.3 millibars. And that hap those happen in January of 1979 with the Eastern Montana records happening with that December Christmas Eve event uh, of 1983. So these are this morning's weather models. The GFS in the upper left, the East European in the upper right, the NAM, which is another American model in the lower left, and the Canadian model in the lower right. All of these models show extraordinarily high pressure building over the northern Rockies by Thursday morning. Anywhere from 1,074 to 1,058 millibars according to the model scheme. All of those numbers would challenge both our, our regional records for December and the all-time records for uh, the, the lower 48. So really a remarkable solution being advertised in the models. So the significance of that is it could get potentially dangerously cold. The Christmas Eve event of 1983, temperatures ranged 
in the Bitterroot in Missoula in the 25 to 35 below zero range. Over in, in along the Blackfoot, we got down to 50 below in Potomac. And down here in the Big Hole, 55 below in Wisdom with a 52 below in Butte. Uh, even up in, the, up in Northwest Montana, areas received exceptionally cold temperatures. In the January 1st, 1979 event, it was actually a little bit warmer, even though we had even higher mean sea level pressure. But still, 28 below zero in Missoula, 43 below in Potomac, 48 below in the Big Hole, 37 below in Butte. Extraordinary cold. And that's what we're looking at po being possible on Thursday morning. So just how cold could it get? Well, here's the latest forecast. That's right, 30 below in Missoula, and uh, we got a 46 below over there in Butte. It's really extraordinary how this cold is developing. And it's really also very challenging to forecast because the models tend to vary wildly in, in the extremes. But this is a pretty good middle of the road forecast, if you will, on the extreme event. So things like cloud cover and also um, uh, wind are going to have an effect on these temperatures and ultimately could deter will determine how cold it truly gets. And these, these numbers here on the left are the records for Thursday morning. Um, so we should be challenging most of these records, which, which honestly are very extreme records uh, in our climate database. And this is the forecast in comparison to our all-time records at our co-op sites and our ASOS stations. So 33 below is the all-time record low in Missoula. We're not there in the forecast just yet, but if it isn't windy and the clouds are all clear and you see lots of stars, we could flirt with it. The other, you know, 52 below in Butte, we're not there yet, but it's, it's possible. It's a possibility, an outside chance, but certainly a possibility. And here are the top 10 coldest at the three uh, primary and secondary climate sites we have, uh, Missoula, Butte, and Kalispell. So any which way you slice it, this forecast that's upcoming should place, uh, Thursday's temperature should place in the top 10 coldest all time ever observed in Missoula, Kalispell, and Butte with records going back all the way to the early to mid 1890s. So it's pretty extraordinary, this kind of cold. The kind of cold that we don't see very often, possibly once or twice in a generation, for many people in Montana have never seen this kind of cold. And that those are all just regular ambient air temperatures. This is a chart that shows the potential for wind chill. This is probably the most extreme potential for wind chill with 50 to 60 below possible along the Continental Divide, 30 to 40 below possible through many areas across Western Montana. It is going to be dangerously and bitterly cold on Wednesday, starting about midday and continuing overnight all the way through Thursday. In fact, by Thursday, our high temperatures in most places won't get out of the negative readings and won't get above zero. Uh, it's just going to be dangerously and bitterly cold. So now is the time to prepare. We're moving into the extreme cold category as far as winter dressing goes. For those who have not lived here very long, wear it all. You're going to need it. It's going to be dangerous, and the potential for wind chill in, in, in extremes is there. Um, on Wednesday, especially Wednesday night, uh, in some areas, frostbite in as few as five minutes on exposed skin. I'd also like to invite you to check out our website, weather.gov slash Missoula, for the latest forecast updates and interesting graphics highlighting the cold. Also, we have a web page on our weather.gov slash safety slash cold. If you just search cold safety or National Weather Service cold safety, you'll find our website. It's got all kinds of great resources for you to help get prepared for this kind of cold that's going to be upcoming this week. Also, I highly encourage you to follow us on our social media platforms. We post forecast updates several times throughout the day, but we try and be as active as possible on our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube accounts, providing the latest and greatest resources for you so that you can stay safe 
as you're preparing for this extreme weather event and as you're preparing for your holiday travels. Also, you can call us at the National Weather Service. We're open 24-7, 365 days a year. Our phone number right there on the, on the, on the screen at 406-329-4840. We'd love to help you understand the forecast better. Again, historic cold is possible on Thursday. Temperatures quite possibly colder than anything we've seen in 40 years. The time to prepare is now. Also, do not forget heavy snow will be in the forecast and beginning to fall tomorrow and continue all the way through Wednesday afternoon, followed by dangerous wind chill readings and then the historic cold of Thursday morning. Thank you so much for listening. Please stay safe, stay warm, and have the happiest of holidays and a very Merry Christmas.